Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Sims 4 La Purgatory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And today, my friends, all of you have been very busy doing some field biology for me, and I have to say I'm quite proud. Though really, I, I do need to ask you about the wisdom of having taken your little wire fox terrier with you out into the field. You know how uh, things can sometimes get a little bit out of hand when we're mixing and matching these genes. Uh, I'm pretty sure last time we had a little bit of dragon DNA slip into the mm, tea tree dishes and that got rather interesting, let's just say. But I have to admit, I never really thought about what a wolf and a wire fox terrier crossbreed would look like. And so today is the day that we are going to accomplish our curiosity and create an adventure. Oh, so, I hope all of you are ready. I know many of you have been very, very busy mucking out the stables of many of our assorted uh, horse pixel biology adventures. And of course, with the horse. <laughs> I can't help it. That's just so much fun to say. But of course, with the horse, I hope that you are, um, let's see, not being too coarse and adding in whatever interesting suggestions you might have for our future experiments because all of you after all are the backbone of what makes up the curious community that we are surrounded by where playfulness and storytelling and all sorts of shenanigans come together in a leafy tornado of chaos to be completely honest and create just a little bit of delight to hopefully add a bit of joy to your days also you know it's good to have more help with the interns scooping some of the poop around here <sighs> ever since those zoo tycoon 2 days we still have all that poop to scoop it's kind of a fact of life at this fact or at this point <laughs> But all right, enough silliness. So my friends, you guys know the drill by now. We are going to go ahead and we are going to snap on our safety goggles, put on our wonderful lab coats, and we are going to see what Mochi, the gray wolf, and what Amanda, the wire fox terriers crossbreeds would look like. So you guys ready? Because I'm actually really excited. I'm hoping for these pointy little ears. I hope that those ears or that very unique shape to the fur are actually Actually inherited across the board and I'm excited to see if maybe we might be surprised at what kind of traits that our beautiful wolf Mochi what he might be able to go ahead and bring into this cross mix as well so without further ado let's break out those petri dishes and we're going to welcome in to our chaotic labarcatory family oh that's a really cute puppy none other than Oh, Marmalade! Welcome, Marmalade! You look very adorable, very much copying your mother Amanda on your patterning now, but only fate, time, and the dice of destiny. Well, not really the dice of destiny this time around, but only fate will heal if you are going to end up being a very large puppy. Like, are you going to like turn into like the wolf size or stay like really small? And you can't tell what kind of fur type you're going to have until you grow up either. So don't get discouraged, friends. I'm sure we're going to have quite the surprise up our sleeves. Let me go ahead and now we're going to pull in. Oh, that's a really beautiful wolf pup. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of, my heart. Oh my gosh. Okay, focus, focus. And <gasps> how cute. Oh my goodness, look at you. Okay, and this little one is actually going to be Elena. Elena. Let's see, Aliana, even. Let's go ahead and have you come on in and you are going to be an active vocal troublemaker. And I am so happy that you have been enjoying our chaotic adventures. And I absolutely love the idea of a boxer and a gazelle. That, I, I don't exactly think of boxers as being very fast, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> So the idea of mixing those things together, I love that you say they could be slobbery cuddle monsters with no sense of personal space mixed with prey that's always on the alert and on the run. That is fantastic. That is absolutely going to like, well, I would say the tippy top of my list, but I'm going to be honest with all of you. Every time I sit down and I go, which ideas should you have to work on today? I get so excited about all of them that it gets a little chaotic, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. In fact, I actually have a random generator I made to pick which one of the different adventures we do. Oh, I wish we had that puppy. 
That would be, oh my gosh. Oh, but I will take a red-eyed wolf. That's a little exciting. Gray Stripe, welcome, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and add you on into the family and you are going to be a stubborn, jumpy, and very hairy little puppy. Whether or not you grow up to look more like your wolf dad or your wire, <laughs> little wire fox terrier. I wanted to make sure I got that right. Amanda, your mother. Well, that remains yet to be seen, but I hope whatever you are, you're going to be sheer chaos contained in one adorable little package. All right, let's pull up the next Petri dish. Ints, 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 ints. All right, next we have, oh, that's a really cute puppy. Oh, Mochi, you have amazing, like, oh, look at you though. <laughs> okay, this one's really cute. And I'm actually starting to wonder if all of the ones with ears that flop down, are those ones all going to end up inheriting the wire fox terriers like pointed down ears? Because if that's the case, we have some extremely, uh, some extremely lucky hints at what kind of adorable dogs we're going to get. Well, dogs, or like, I guess, let's see. Let's see, hang on, I gotta think about this. Wire, fox, terrier, and then a wolf. Wolfed? Let's see. W w wolfed? Wofft? Oh my gosh, wafts. <laughs> We need to see what kind of little waft that you are going to grow up to be, little Lisa. And Lisa, you love the mythical creatures that we have come on in. Well, my friend, we can definitely add many more of our mythical creatures. Uh, mostly we have like dragons and let's see, different types of dragons. What else do we have, little Lisa? Let's see, and you are going to be hairy, loyal, and a hunter. Um, we've got the dragons, we have got the griffins, we've got the unicorns. We probably should go ahead and rein ourselves in a unicorn now that I'm thinking of it, now that you know the Sims 4 horse ranch has come around. So, you know what? Maybe we should have like a unicorn, like rainbow spree and just have a unicorn show up all the time and see what happens. I love that idea. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and we are going to pull on in none other than Kaylee or excuse me, Velvet. Oh, oh, Kaylee, you want us to name somebody Velvet after your puppers? More than happy to do that. And I'm gonna actually do something I have not ever really done before, but we're going to casually reroll because I didn't want Velvet to be a aggressive troublemaker with like personality issues uh, since it's named after your puppy. Um, but Velvet is going to be an adventurous sleuth who is a couch potato. That's pretty adorable. And the idea of doing a nine-tailed fox with a bobcat. Hey now, I can't believe I forgot we had nine-tailed foxes. Uh, that was a little silly of me. And then a bobcat. Okay, that's actually, oh my gosh, nine-tailed fox and cheetah. <gasps> And Cheetah, ah, you know me. If it has spots and dots, then I've got a little bit of a weakness for that. <clears throat> so, yes, very good idea, Kaylee. I very much love that. Uh, and then we're already on the last Petri dish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but then let's go ahead and add in the very last Petri dish. And this is actually going to be none other, very cute, than the, the little poppy. That's adorable. The little poppy puppy, eh, eh? Oh, you're so cute. But the, the little poppy, you, my friend, you're a kid. Look, there's a lot of troublemakers in here. If any of you guys have been around wire fox terriers, could you let me know? Are they little mischief troublemakers? Because if so, I, I I need to update my mental map of wire fox terriers. I think I've only seen a few and most of them were like on shows about people in Britain. And now I'm staring into the distance and trying to figure out uh, those of you who happen to live over the pond in what would you say is like the most British dog out there? Like if we were going to say like, oh, this is the most like American dog or this was the most uh, Canadian dog or this was the most Australian dog. Like what would you pick? Cause now I'm kind of curious, like, wait a second. Like what is actually, you know what? Little Poppy, since you're the last one and you actually are the final Petri dish, what is the most popular dog in the UK? Hmm. Labrador Retriever. Wait, really? I mean, according to Scotsman.com. What? <laughs> I thought that was going to be like the most
most popular dog breed in the US. I need, hang on, most popular, okay, hang on. Dog breed in the US. Uh, the Labrador. There's just labs all the way down. That's kind of adorable. Or uh, labradorable, I should say. When was the last time we had a Labrador? All right, look, now you guys have got me all excited in all sorts of different ways. So let's go ahead and grow all of you up because it sounds like we've got some uh, very fun, curious crossbreeds to create a whole new adventure and experiment now. Mochi, thank you very much. We will release you to our wilds of Wolf Quest 3 and see if you will one day potentially enjoy the abundance of... Uh, well, actually, I was going to say of the land that our wolf packs live in, but actually, you should stay out because it's it, you know that belongs to the dark and dawn moon pack. You're you're not allowed, but you can you can say hi at the edges, I guess. Just don't cross my territory. <clears throat> and Amanda, off you go to play with your wonderful. Uh, um, I mean, like raise your hand if you guys actually happen to have a wire fox terrier, because I actually low key love when people let me know that they have the dog breed or cat breed or whatever. Well, I really hope you don't have a wolf or a giraffe or an elephant, now that I think about it. And a little dubious on the unicorn thing, you can tell me if you got a unicorn, but I'm gonna have to have a little sit and a stare, and I'm gonna have to think if I wanna have that teachery conversation of, uh, I'm not upset, just potentially disappointed or not. Uh, anyway, Amanda, off you go with whomever is going to go ahead and take you home. And let's do this, my friends. Are we going to get the chaos that I am hoping for? The chaos that I crossed all my fingers for with the fur type and the ears and the size of Amanda? Or are we just going to get some very nice puppers? Because they're all nice puppers after all. Marmalade, you're up first. Aw, look at your little ears. Marmalade, you're adorable. And you look very, very, very much like your mom. Okay, I really like that. I don't think we see too much from the wolf side of the family here at all, actually. Hmm, double, triple checking. Yeah, really, honestly, Marmalade, you kind of... Okay, maybe a shorter snoot by a bit, but otherwise, I do think uh, that you actually are just a very happy wire fox terrier with perhaps a little bit of a howl to your voice, which would be kind of hilarious if you had like a wolf howl coming out of this little one. But... That does give us a hint, because Marmalade had the floppy ears, so I wonder if that means... Elena! <gasps> Elena, look how pretty you are! Wow! Oh, I really love this patterning. Okay, and again, I don't think we had too much of our wolf heritage, except for the fact that you are probably going to howl as well, which again, kind of hilarious if you imagine like this small dog with like the deep, resounding, echoing howl of a wolf. And then we've got Gray. Gray, something tells me you're probably gonna grow up into an adult wolf. Yep, a very short furred one. Oh no, <laughs> hang in there, Gray. I don't know how you ended up with that since both of your parents are actually extremely fluffy. But I guess if you put them together, then what you got was poor Gray. Well, you know, climate change is making everything warmer. Maybe that'll help. Meanwhile, Lisa, with your last bit of the floppy ears, I believe, I'm crossing my fingers so hard right now because I'm hoping you're going to be a little wolf. Little wolf? <gasps> yes! All right! Well, we did end up with the wolf coloring. We ended up with the floppy ears. We ended up with the very unique fur. And I'm kind of pondering now, like, how... How much of a wolf... I, I feel like the eyes, maybe? But not really? Hmm. But I can see it. I could see it. I'm starting to, to kind of pick up a little bit of a vibe of the wolf here. Meanwhile, Velvet, you have quite of a large head, no offense about that. And so I'm wondering if, oh, never mind. I thought you were gonna be big. <laughs> what is up with these extremely muscular like wolves that actually don't end up having any fur? It's kind of like, no, like maybe, maybe poor Mochi just didn't have, oh, look at the chonky belly on you, the little poppy. I didn't notice that last time. But maybe poor Mochi just didn't have like any of the, the fur genes to pop. Oh, once again, little poppy sweeping in at the final Petri dish to blow us out of the water with something utterly beautiful. Wow, wow. Okay, like once again, I feel like this is going to be one of those dogs. I might try to see if Toby of our green family legacy might, he's our, he's our puppers. 
you might want to go ahead and potentially flirt with a little bit and have some puppies with, but maybe we should have like a a like bachelorette sort of challenge, like a like a like a who's who dating challenge, like throw all the pretty female whatnots we've made in and see who Toby picks. That could be kind of interesting. But little Poppy, you are absolutely gorgeous, and I am so glad that you are here joining in on this chaotic family. So all right guys, that is the lineup this time and not quite as chaotic as I thought it was going to be, but the potential was there. So this would be a fun mix to do again in the future because Amanda, something tells me your genes could get pretty wild indeed. So if you guys could do, please leave those suggestions down in the comments below and the random comment generator just might pick you next time. Or you'll just, you know, hear me squeal in delight because oh my gosh, I love all of your suggestions. And most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, you're so pretty. I love your little white nose.